gonna drive this V8 mower. So the original idea was we were gonna run this 90 degree gearbox straight off the back of the motor, run it on a V-belt style to the stock hydrostatic transmission on the lawnmower itself. So you'd be able to go forward and reverse with hydraulics. We'd also be running the deck with this guy too. But we ripped apart our peerless little gearbox we have right here. Again, horizontal to vertical driven so we can run that rear end, that hydrostatic stock rear end. But the problem we have with this guy is, is uh, the gears are like 3 16 inch thick in this little peerless. You know, it's rated for like 10 horsepower, not 245 horsepower. So even if we did get this running, it probably wouldn't last very long. So we're scratching this idea. And we could go with something a lot beefier so we could do burnouts and crazy stuff and try to beat Honda's world record 110 miles per hour in a riding lawnmower. So we're gonna go with this guy right here. So this is a 904 transmission. This is a Chrysler 904 transmission. It's an automatic three-speed transmission. I'm gonna put it down since it's really heavy. Now we're gonna bolt up to the back of this 5.9 Magnum, so she'll still be fuel injected. And then we got a Jeep rear end that we're gonna shorten narrow to go in the rear. So this thing will be like a full car in a lot more chassis, so we actually have a chance. So we can go out and do burnouts, we can do stupid stuff with a lawnmower. Maybe if someone will let us go drag racing in it, we'll go drag racing in it. But all our modifications that we've done to it so far are kinda of going in the scrap right now. Engine's out, uh, we got a strip chassis now. So what we're gonna go do now is cut the motor plate off cut the actual old lawnmower framing off of the frame rails that we're going to be using. Extend this guy out with some tubing. Get the 904 bolted up to the 5.9 Magnum. Uh, we will have to trim a corner of it to fit the cam or to fit the crank sensor right there. As you can see in our motor plate we had to trim this little section out. We'll have to do the same thing to the 904 on the bench right there. And then we'll get the 904 on here, hold it up, get the Jeep rear end which is right there up to figure out the length we need to do and then just get everything positioned correctly probably get all the brackets knocked off the jeep rear end so we can actually get this position too because this is going to be solid mounted there'll be no flex we're not going to have any drive shaft it's literally going to be u-joint from slip yoke on the trans to differential so we can't have any flex at all so it's going to be like a go-kart with no suspension but that's how lawnmowers are too you don't want suspension in a lawnmower because if you hit head suspension in a lawnmower you could hit a bump and then your grass would probably have a really low spot. So we got the whole idea laid out right here. We got the 5.9 Magnum, we got the 904 transmission, and then we got the Jeep rear end that will get cut down and shortened. But this is probably the length of the lawnmower that's going to be due to the fact that uh, that's the U-joint connecting those two, so it'll be a little stubbier. But maybe you guys know something of a 904 that has a stubbier shaft on the back of it. And you guys can send me a link or something to make this a little bit shorter. But it is probably just a little bit longer than it originally was. Uh, I think it was 64 inches of wheel base last time. So this is now going to be ooh, 69 inches of wheelbase. So yeah, we're only five inches longer than we originally were. So it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So um, maybe we can find a stubbier shaft for the 904. I don't really know. But this is how it's going to go. So now we're going to be working on the frame. Uh, we'll get the pinion angle a little bit better than how it is. But the frame's going to kick out a little bit right here due to the oil pan come around and then probably just come straight back. We'll kick it out and then just come straight back with the frame rails. That will attach to the rear end, so we're going to have to cut the frame up here again, angle it, and then just start building a frame here. We just got done cutting out. These are actually going to be the perches that we weld to the axles themselves to mount it. So kind of like a leaf spring setup. So we'll drill a hole and have an alignment pin also on the frame rails. So it will U-bolt down to the um, actual axle housing. Just like that, it'll sit right on top of it. And that's how we're going to bolt the axle down. Uh, we got the U-joint in. We got the axle perfectly centered to where we want it. And our U-joint's nice and centered because you can spin this guy all you want with no issues whatsoever. So that works out great. 
but you guys can see the idea of how we're gonna have no drive shaft, literally be a U-joint. Coupling it so this frame has to be super stiff because if there's any flex at all in this frame, that U-joint is gonna have probably snap off or snap the flanges off or something if it flexes whatsoever. So we'll definitely have to add some more cross braces and stuff. We've been welding and chopping and cutting some metal and getting this frame all finalized and welded up together. Not finalized, because we still gotta pull it apart and finish welding underneath it. But we got it pretty much almost all the way done. Uh, I did run out of metal. I wanted to attach this and put a trailer hitch right here so we can move trailers around with this thing. But we do have a couple cross braces added in. We have the extension pieces put on. We have the leaf spring shackles into place where it needs to go. And yeah, so this thing's ready to be pulled apart, fully welded together. Probably after we finish welding this back piece, you need to find a trailer hitch or something to finish off this back piece right here. So now this rear end's ready to come off the frame and get shortened, but we're gonna have to save that for the next video, guys. So. If you guys like the video, make sure you go down below, give it a big thumbs up. Um, in the next video, we will be shortening this Jeep rear end to about three feet, so it doesn't look absolutely ridiculous behind this lawnmower. But, thank you guys for watching. As always, keep it boosted, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!